pathophysiology of advanced fibrosis in NASH is due to ongoing inflammation from fat deposits in the liver. And this activates cells that in response to the fat and inflammation starts depositing collagen in the liver and leaving scars. So the more scars are left because of ongoing inflammation, the more fibrosis develops and that's when it becomes advanced fibrosis and eventually cirrhosis. When advanced fibrosis progresses, it leads to cirrhosis. And the concern with having cirrhosis is not only for liver failure, but also uh, liver cancer, hepatocellular carcinoma. Um, we are also worried that even with just advanced fibrosis, you could develop liver cancer but most likely when it's ad advancing to cirrhosis. And one is, that's one of the complications that can happen from the natural course of advanced fibrosis in NASH. Also addressing the progression of NASH, if there are any other injuries to the liver in terms of certain populations that have other liver diseases, if you have NASH combined to some viral hepatitis or NASH and patient uses alcohol, then the progression could be faster in terms for the complications of advanced fibrosis. NASH is a condition in which the liver has fat and inflammation. That's what defines that, uh, that condition. The inflammation frequently leads to liver injury with healing. And in the course of healing, we start to see scar tissue. And as that scar tissue progresses, it affects the liver more and more. The early and middle phases are nearly impossible to distinguish by a patient. We may see early hints in blood uh, tests, but just looking at the patient and how they feel, you will not get any idea of how advanced their fibrosis is until they reach a point where they have cirrhosis with complications. And at that point, you would know definitively, but at that point, they have many fewer options in terms of getting healthy. The rate of progression is quite variable, uh, both within a patient and within families. So some families have early uh, and rapid progression. Uh, patients tend to progress the longer they have the disease. So we see some patients who have cirrhosis very early, but many times it's patients in their 40s and 50s. Uh, and very important to recognize that the rate of progression within a patient is not constant. So you have people who go for years with very mild disease, but then as it progresses and as they get older, the, uh, the rate at which fibrosis develops starts to accelerate. So it's not one stage per seven years. It may be much slower at the beginning and much faster as you get to the end.